Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'd like to show you some tips and tricks and tools and shortcuts that I use a lot when illustrating inside of Figma. I've illustrated a ton in Illustrator for years and Figma's really just become my preference now, especially when I'm already using Figma. Um, and it has a lot of the same tools and they've really beefed it up over the years. So I'll show you some of these tools today that help me illustrate when using Figma. Um, first up, you can press Shift P to get the pencil tool. I tend to prefer the pencil tool because it's much more free form and lightweight and it kind of gives my illustrations a little bit more of like a doodly handmade feel. Um, the pen tool, however, gives you that much more refined feel. Um, so you can get like very precise edges and you can make nice curves if wanted or needed. Um, so this is more just stylistically, but I also tend to jump between the two. So if I have something that needs a very precise type of edge, I'll probably just use the pen tool. Um, so once we've drawn out our illustration using the pencil tool, um, you can actually just, oops, let's go back. Um, you can actually just connect these into one shape very simply. So I have all of these separate lines here. I can just select them and press Command E on Mac. And now they're joined into one single path. So this is nice when I'm drawing. Sometimes my hand gets tired and I'll just stop and then pick up again and start drawing. Um, and then so the next thing that you'll want to know is how to actually edit those paths because like I just showed you, sometimes I'll be drawing and then as my hand gets tired, <laughs> it just kind of falls flat like that. So you can just select that line, press enter, and then you know select the points you don't want, and then the same thing, press command E, bring them together. And then in the next step, let's talk about joining these together. So now that I have this joined shape with these different lines, I can just press enter, and now I can bring these points together. So if you want, you can just press P, get the pen tool, draw your own um, side, or you can select the points and press Command J. That will give you a straight line between your anchor points, or you can press Command Shift J, which kind of gives you that smoother connection with those angles. Um, and yeah, so next up, how do we actually, oops. So yeah, next up we have our um, Ben tool. So the Ben tool allows you to basically anytime you're drawing and you have these little anchor points, you can do a couple different things to mess with the angles. So if I hold command here, I can make a uniform adjustment to these um, to this anchor points angles. If I come over here, however, and I just want to edit one of the angles, I can hold option and that allows me to just edit one side at a time. So I can make very specific adjustments to these angles. And then if you want at any point to just remove um, that curvy angle like you have and sharpen it, or vice versa, you can just hold command and it'll allow you to do that. Um, so next up, if I ever have any unwanted anchor points like you've seen before, if I'm using the pencil tool and I draw out something very long like this, I can just come into it and press P to pull out the pen tool and then option allows me to just subtract different anchor points as needed. So if at any point you have to swap, so sometimes I'm drawing and I have um, a fill that I don't want and I want to swap it with my stroke, you just press Shift X and that allows you to toggle between fill and stroke at any point. And then if you want at any point to actually just get rid of the stroke, that would be Shift forward slash or sometimes I'll just press option forward slash just to get rid of the fill um, as needed. Okay, so the paint bucket is another useful tool. Um, so I can like select all of these items and like I showed you before, command E to bring them together into one shape. 
And then after I drill in here and I'm editing my shape, I can just press B and start filling these in with some color. And then of course I can use my eyedropper at any point as well to change the color that I'm filling it with. And then this is something that's kind of hidden inside of Figma. It took me a little while to figure this out, but in between different anchor points, if at any point you want to just delete a line, you can just select it just like that and Figma will allow you to delete it. I know they don't have like any selected state or anything, so this can be kind of confusing at times, but that's basically all it is. Select those lines and you can delete it. I hope you guys found this video useful in some way. I hope some of these tricks were new to you. If so, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.